Hello friends, welcome. Now let's get started and work with a splate. So if you go to the splate.dev website, here we have the documentation and let's go inside the documentation here. Now we have introduction also I told you a splate provides a super easy way to build a single page application using a standard Laravel blade templates enhanced with a renderless view three components. And if you want, you can click here and read more the renderless component in Vue.js. But uh, here also we have the automatic installation. So with automatic installation, we create the project, the Laravel project, CD in that project, and we require the package, which is the Proton Media slash Laravel dash split, and we run the PHP artisan split colon install. And that's it. Also, we have the manual installation. So if we have a project and we want to add the split, we can require the package and we need to add the split middleware in the road middleware in the kernel inside the HTTP slash kernel.php. And then create the route with the middleware split and create a group here and every route inside this group has access to split. Also, we have this breeze starter kit, which means we have all the breeze authentication working with split. And this is what I'm going to do. So first, let's create the project, the Laravel project. I'm going to open the terminal and I'm going to say Laravel new split just split i'm going to name it the project and then cd and require the package okay so cd the split and let's require the now we have here the level split breeze also, as you can see, dash breeze here. So we have the breeze authentication. And we need to run the PHP artisan breeze install. And the last one is to run the npm run dev. So copy that. Okay, so let's run the npm run dev and let's open the project split.test. So let's see here, split.test. Here is the project, but because I am in the Brave browser, we need to remove protection. And now we have the our project. As you can see, we can navigate in the login and you can see we don't have a reload here. So if I navigate to the login, yeah, it's a single page application. Okay, let's uh, create or let's open first the project. So I'm going to terminate this and I'm going to open with VS Code. And let's zoom this one. Let's navigate in the .env file. So the database is splayed. And the root and password. If you have a different name for username and password, you can add here. Also, you can change the database, but I'm going to leave it as it is. And come here. Go to the database and create new one. Paste that name. Click OK. And I'm going to run the artisan migrate. It's PHP artisan 
migrate, OK, and refresh. And I'm going to create a new user, test, test, email.com, and add the password. Go to the register, and here we have now the dashboard, the project, and also is coming with a profile. So we can navigate in the profile, we can change the name in the email, the password, and we can delete our account. Okay. Let's log out. Let's go and log in now with that user. So test email.com and add the password. Login, everything okay. So this is how easy it is to add the split and it's like uh, inertia. Now if I open Okay, so if I come here and let's go to the routes, web routes, here are all the routes. I'm going to remove this. And as you can see, all the routes is inside this route middle with middleware split group. We have a split table which register routes to support table with uh, bulk actions and this split uploads register routes to support async file uploads with file pond and then we have the welcome and we have the road for authentication and then which has the dashboard and the provide and then we have the out php require which is all the routes for the breeze package okay friends that's it about this video how we can create the project and add the split install the split with breeze also